Hey guys, Ray from Love You RV. So I got a little tip here, especially for people who are kind of new to RVs and uh, especially trailer ownership, is you have to really stay on top of your uh, maintenance. And one of the things that I always do is go through and check my nut and bolt torque settings, especially on the very critical elements that could lead to a, a bad day on the road. Also, you don't want things loosening up because loosening up kind of leads to things wearing out that shouldn't wear out. So I'll kind of go through in this video and let you know the things that I check at least once a year. Usually I do it around this time. It's fall and we're preparing to leave uh, on a on a quite an extensive trip where we'll co probably cover you know, four or 5,000 miles of towing. So I want to make sure everything is nice and tight before we depart and also it gives me a chance to kind of get a good look at all these uh, areas and see if anything maybe is going wrong as far as you know a broken piece or piece of hardware that's broken or maybe something's wrong with a nut or bolt anything coming loose usually nothing loosens up but it's just a, a good thing to be checking so let's go through what I uh, I think is critical like I go through the whole rig all the screws and nuts and bolts and just make sure everything's tight but these ones are really critical so I try to do them their proper torque um, over the years I've gone and found all the manuals and gone through and found out the, the socket size I need and what the foot pounds of torque is required so I've kind of kept myself a list of that and that really helps out uh, I carry a, a socket set that's uh, an old Craftsman that I've had for 30 years. is a really good quality socket set and still working fine. I've got myself two torque wrenches. I had kind of a, a decent torque wrench, but I found it was, as I got older, it took more and more strength. So I got myself a longer one, and that's really made it a lot easier, especially some of the, the torque settings are up around 120, 130, even 160 pounds. So need to get a little bit of uh, arm strength into there um, and also I've picked up the right size uh, wrenches and all the sockets that I need for each job anyway let's get to it first we have my pin box um, I changed my stock pin box to a air ride pin box and changed the nuts and bolts on it so it takes a 15 16 socket and then I also have a, a wrench for it so that I can uh, tighten everything up on that. It's uh, 5 8 bolts and I need to get a, to 160 foot pounds minimum on that. Um, and then we have the fifth wheel hitch. So in my new truck I have a, a Mopar hitch. Uh, it's actually made by Kurt. And uh, in its manual there's kind of six critical nuts and bolts that are 21 millimeter and they have to be 100 foot pounds of torque there and then I go through all the other kind of screws and stuff that and nuts that that are smaller ones and make sure they're all tight <clears throat> uh, as far as wheels go the trailer wheels I need a 13 16 socket and they are 110 to 120 foot-pounds of torque and the truck wheels it's a 7 8 socket and 130 foot-pounds of torque then we have the landing legs. I really check there are some bolts that hold the leg in place, kind of a, a carriage bolt and then a nut on the end. And it's a, a three, I think it's a nine sixteenth socket on that. And it only needs around 10 or 18 foot pounds of torque, but uh, I just want to make sure that's not coming loose because it'd be horrible to have one of those legs start to rattle around in there. Uh, underneath the trailer, I checked the axle U-clamps. That's a pretty important one, too, because if they get loose, then your axles start floating around and all sorts of stuff happens. Other other parts of the mechanism will get more stress on there, and something's going to bad happen if they come loose. Uh, so it's a three-quarter a three inch socket, and they run around 50 foot-pounds. It's kind of online. It varies between, like, 45 to 70 foot-pounds. I usually do around... 50 foot pounds of torque. I have a half inch uh, axle U clamp. So it's going to depend on your sizing. There's different sizing of different things. So you're really going to have to try to find the manuals for your own rig and find out exactly what the, the sockets you need and the foot pounds of torque you're going to have to apply. <clears throat> Uh, the equalizer and shackle nuts, I didn't do that too long ago, I put new equalizer and shackles, so they were a 13, 16 socket, and the manual said 30 to 50 foot-pounds of torque. They're kind of a locking nut on there. Um, 
also the axle kind of the hub bolts that hold the the brake on or 11 16 socket and same thing 45 to 70 foot pounds i usually do about 50 on both of those and then i usually at the same time i'm going to be doing um uh repack my bearings and check my brakes so i'll have the wheel off and the hub off and when i put it back i'm going to have to torque that's called axle the hub castle nut it takes an in an inch and a half socket uh, and you do it up to 50 foot pounds of torque and then there's kind of a procedure you back off the the nut then you kind of do it up by hand to snug and then you kind of put the cotter pin in mine actually has a kind of a, a cotter thing that kind of goes across the nut but anyway I, I kind of follow what it, it says there as far as how to how to do that anyway that's my major uh, really critical area is that any of those things go wrong it's going to be a bad day something's going to fall off or you're going to maybe have an accident and like i say all the other stuff um there's some stuff on the slide there's there's some bolts and stuff that hold the 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 slide slide in and out uh um, bars that come in and out they're geared and stuff like that so there's bolts around there I, I check and and there's some shear pins that I check just a really good inspection and I make sure nothing has come loose as far as nuts and bolts there I have a bike rack on the back same deal with that I kind of check all that on the, all the underbelly screws they're kind of tech screws I make sure they're all they're all in place as well Anyway, I thought I'd just give you that little tip because you know you really can't trust a lot of a lot of mechanics and dealers that that are are uh, doing because they're they're in business and their 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 uh, speed is a is a thing to make more money because I've taken my rig in and had tires changed and stuff like that and I've watched and they're just coming with their electric air guns it's just rap 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 rap. I hardly ever see one pull out a torque wrench unless I specify saying I would like it torqued to whatever settings. So I've had them back, like when I first got the trailer, I checked the, the lug nuts and it was way under torqued. Um, so, you know, you just got to really count on yourself and make sure everything's tight. Anyway, till next time, Ray from loveyrv.com.